I'm joined by award-winning freelance journalist Alice Clark to talk about Ticket to Ride Legacy, which we've been playing. We have so far about four games in, so it's sort of fresh at the moment. Uh, just before we get into it too much, how are you enjoying it so far? I'm having a great time. Like, I really love Ticket to Ride. And the good thing about Ticket to Ride Legacy is that I can force my friends to play with me at least 12 times in a row and they can't say no. So I guess we'll start off with that. So you you enjoy Ticket to Ride quite a lot. Have you played a number of different maps and different, different editions of it? Yeah, so I've played a lot of USA and a significant amount of Europe. And I feel like I played Nordic countries once, but I have no memory of it whatsoever. Because they also did a bunch of different uh, map packs, which you know have some slight variation of rules that go off those big games. I played it uh, USA a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like the city ones. They've got uh, I've got London, and so they're two to four player games that are playing about half an hour, twenty minutes to half an hour. I thought that's the perfect length for a ticket to ride, in that you can introduce new players to it, but doesn't outstay its welcome. Because for me, I'd rather play another game than play you know an hour and a half game of ticket to ride. But how, to, are you, how are you playing games of Ticket to Ride that they take an hour and a half? I don't think I've ever had a game of Ticket to Ride last more than 50 minutes, even with like five players. Maybe it's just uh, new players, or maybe maybe I'm just thinking of like, it goes for longer than the, the map pack, the um, the city ones. What about legacy games? So this is a legacy game, where, as we're about finished the first four games of it. Uh, what is your experience with legacy games? So we've been playing uh, The King's Dilemma for quite a while now, which I think is what you're angling for. I also once tried to play Risk Legacy before I remembered that my family is banned from playing Risk for all of time. I have played a number of Legacy games. So I've also played Pandemic Legacy, which some of the people involved in this game made, uh, as well as yeah, playing King's Dilemma, played Aeon's End Legacy, played Machikora Legacy, played My City, playing My Island. Uh, so I've played a number of Legacy games. I, a lot of Legacy. You yeah. like stickers though. You just love a sticker. Yeah, rather than get stick, uh, a sticker book and just put them in, I was like, I'll just play a whole Legacy game. That's, that seems fine. Um, again, we're, we're four games in. We're not going to talk about details of what's happened, but um, we have noticed some changes to some of the, uh, the rules and the board. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so when you start playing, the, the board is kind of set up like a puzzle. Um, and that puzzle difficulty uh, varies. I'm not making meaningful eye contact with anybody who messed it up today, it's fine. Um, so you start off with kind of like the New York corner of the board and then you expand out from there uh, as you go. And I won't reveal how, um, not to spoil it, and also just because I forgot even though it was like an hour ago. Um, but it is, it's cool. Like there's different bits you can add and there's new rules that come in and new stuff and I don't know how not to spoil yeah, well, I mean, like, it's a map of America, so you know, like, oh, I wonder what's on the other side. It's like, well, probably, like, the rest of the country. Yeah. But it does, yeah, we, we've introduced some new little sort of minigame-esque rules um, that sort of change the... It doesn't change, like, the way you play, but it might change the focus a little bit to change to long-term goals rather than this just immediate fulfilling tickets as you would in a normal game. Yeah. And also there's money now. So I always talk about how Ticket to Ride is like, what if Monopoly was good and didn't have money involved? But here, money is involved. And for the first bit, you're like, I don't really get what the money's doing here, I guess. But now I kind of reached the stage where I understand the purpose of money. And so uh, finally I can make my parents proud and become an accountant. Yeah, there's a couple of modules that we've got so far that do some things. I'm looking to see some of the other boxes we haven't explored, what they delve in. So it's been nice playing it so far. I'm keen to see what the rest of the campaign and game gives us. And hopefully, uh, Ellis has taken a bit of an early lead, so hopefully that does not stay the same case. Excuse me? I have not won this entire day. Prospect has taken a lead. I've been coming firmly second. After, after coming last in three games in a row, I... Came first in the fourth game, so I'm sort of starting to my, my comeback has started, and hopefully it continues. I guess we'll probably have a catch up uh, once we've done um, Ticket to Ride Legacy and also King's Dilemma, and have a chat mm. to, about those in the future. Alice, thanks for inviting us into your home <laughs> uh, to talk about Ticket to Ride Legacy. Thanks so much for coming over. Uh, anytime.